here, you know, if someone is considering joining this program, but they're feeling like they have no clarity, like they don't even know where to start. They don't know what their business is going to even look like. And they have that, what I call clarity conundrum where they're like, well, I'm not going to do anything because I don't know how it looks. What would you tell them, you know, about joining this program? Oh, I would say it, go for it. Honestly, just go for it. I remember I had the call with you, like I was kind of him in and hawing, like, should I go for it? And we had a call that day. And like you mentioned, I really did do the steps you, you said, like everything you put in Teachable, I did do, right? So I was doing the Bob Proctor abundance of meditation and I had been doing it for many days. And I think I was on day 30 or not close the day I had that call with you. And it was like, it really felt like, oh my God, this this is this is how we should be teaching people yeah. and, and it felt like I'm about to enter Hogwarts this is magic we all have magic in us we have to learn how to follow our intuition again and our intuition has been so just so unfortunately just when in, in the society we're in it's just being blocked and it, it, it's it's magic I keep on saying magic is real and it's not some it is slightly esoteric yes but it's also tangible because the only place it can happen is right now it's not going to happen and there's you can't just continuously think it's going to get better and better and I think that's been a big part of this program for me is I don't even think I was I would have been ready to get like clients because yeah. I, I didn't I wouldn't have known what to do with that it's it's yeah. embodying yourself and it really is and that's why I'm grateful I had a yoga practice to keep me actually on this earth <laughs> grounded here when like all of a sudden I was seeing my dead granny again mm. and I'm like I was that wasn't my intention I thought you were dead and you were gone and that that was it but now I'm like no our ancestors are literally here we just can't see them and then that all ties in with even my own my own Irish spirituality that I knew nothing about. There's a whole other world here we can't see parallel to this one, just invisible. And then the psychedelics helped me see that because I only have a limited five senses, but then they can kind of help you there. And again, I would not have believed that unless I got to see it with my own, my own eyes or whatever that means. Mm -hmm. So for anyone thinking about doing it, it's just, it's just going to build your confidence. It's going to help you. <sighs> kind of do the unexplainable like I said it's, it is I don't know how to explain even still I, I often say to you still I don't know what I'm doing but I'm doing something <laughs> like yeah, even yesterday I it turns out I'm doing yoga beside an author who has written a book about grief and I'm like of course I am it, it's really it's just like what at this point I'm like I, 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 I'm not expecting these amazing things but I'm not so surprised anymore because I'm like this is the formula. Like if only we could come up with some formula like they do to prove things that the present moment, like now is so important to practice being in it because I'm sure that's what Jesus was trying to tell us. Like that this is the same message in all of these, in the practices and all the religion and spirituality. It's always about being in present with loving awareness and then letting go and things just kind of happen. 